Hello, I am Sarah Corey, and I am doing my final project on Arthur Fitzwilliam Tate's painting, The Life of a Hunter, A Tight Fix. This piece is found at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas. Here we have a picture of Tate. He created the painting, The Life of a Hunter, A Tight Fix, in 1856 during the Realist Movement. Centered on depicting life truthfully, realism sought to portray common interests and situations just as they happened. Tate was originally from England, where hunting was popular and sporting literature and art was common. He later decided to move to America, where activities such as hunting and fishing were only beginning to become accepted among people. It was pastimes like these that inspired Tate's work, so he could only hope that it would sell in a country only beginning to become interested in the matter. Luckily, in the 1840s, outdoor life boomed in America, creating the perfect opportunity for Tate to auction his piece. Here is a picture of Tate's work. It is 40 inches by 60 inches, or 3 feet by 2 feet, and is horizontally originated. It is created in the medium of oil paint on canvas. The composition of this picture depicts a scene that takes place in a forest during the winter time. There is much snow on the ground and the trees are bare. In the foreground, a large black bear towers over a fallen hunter, with its arms stretched out to either side and a grimace across his face as though he is mid-growl. It seems as though he has knocked the hunter down because the bear is sitting on the hunter's gun as the hunter is on the ground defending himself with a knife. Both are faced with injuries as the bear suffers a stab wound while the hunter has a cut on his arm. Yet neither are willing to surrender. They are positioned very close to each other. In fact, almost touching. The outcome of this conflict will never be known, but we do know that a second hunter lingers in the distance behind a tree aimed and ready to shoot the bear down in order to protect his companion. Another interesting element in this picture is the coonskin hat lying in the snow next to the fallen hunter. This is thought to symbolize Davy Crockett and other frontiersmen like him. The brush strokes of the painting appear to be fine and detailed on the figures in the foreground of the picture, yet larger in the background. Tate played with darker hues in this painting with a color scheme consisting of many grays, blacks, and browns. Yet, he contrasts these dark colors with the abundance of white snow on the ground, creating a balance between the two values. He therefore created an image that caused the eye to focus first on the fight between the bear and the hunter, only to later follow the bear's arm up the scene to expose the other hunter in the background. Here we have two more of Tate's works. He helped introduce pictures of outdoor scenes such as these into the realist world of America, as before him, this topic was not yet incorporated in the art world there. At that time, artwork depicting nature scenes was fairly common in European countries, such as France, but realism in America looked much different. The paintings there were more focused on social and political life. Because Tate was heavily influenced by the outdoor life common in Europe, he painted many scenes of nature and activities such as hunting and fishing. This is common in realist work as he painted scenes the way they actually appeared. Luckily, just as he came to America, themes like this were beginning to become popular. By introducing outdoor life to the realm of American realism, Tate made a unique impact on art in America. Here we have a picture of Rosa Bonheur, who was a French realist artist, and she enjoyed painting pictures of nature and animals. This is very similar to Tate in his subject matter. Also, another similarity that they have is they both used oil on canvas. A difference to notice between them, though, is that the strokes of Rosa Bonheur in her paintings tend to be quite fine throughout the entire picture while Tate tended to loosen up his strokes as he moved towards the background. 
True to the art movement, Von Heer stayed true to depicting the subject of her art just the way they appeared. To give you a visual of her artistic style, here is Von Heer's The Horse Fair. This scene displays many rampant horses and the effort of men to keep them under control. In order to get her proportions as realistic as possible, Von Heer observed me in slaughterhouses. And I would say she is successful as most people would say that this painting is highly realistic. While on the other hand, Tate's painting, The Life of a Hunter, A Tight Fix, has been argued to be unrealistic in the way that its subjects are positioned and the rationality of the situation. Yet, I find these paintings to have a somewhat similar message in that they both portray man trying to subdue or tame wild beasts. In Tate's work, the hunter is trying to overcome the disturbed bear. Similarly, in Von Heer's work, the grooms are trying to keep the energy of the horses under control. They both represent the struggle between humanity and the untamed forces of nature. I chose this piece of art to research because when I first saw it in Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, it immediately grabbed my attention. Its large size and dynamic scene caught my eye. I found its content to be exhilarating as the outcome of the scene is unknown. I also felt a connection to this piece as I enjoyed the outdoors very much and I like that it was the subject matter. The Life of a Hunter, a Tight Fix is a beautiful painting that has something to offer to people not only in the 1800s but also today. A big thank you to these sources for helping me get the research necessary to make this project possible.